Ladies and gentlemen, uh, excellencies, dear friends, let me begin by expressing my gratitude to the State Commission of Prisoners of War, Missing Persons and Hostages of the Republic of Azerbaijan, organizers of this event on occasion of International Day of the Victims of Enforced Disappearances. I would like also to pay my respect to International Committee of Red Cross, ICRC, and International Commission on Missing Persons, ICMP, as well as members of the families of missing persons. To tackle the issue of missing persons, especially in hard conflicting war crime zones, bringing victims to rest in peace, finding uh, comfort to families, bringing to justice guilty ones, and opening the process of reconciliation requires concrete preconditions. First, political will to do so. Uh, second, expertise and resources. Third, uh, patience and persistence. Fourth, investigation, judicial and court functioning system. And finally, national, international, institutional and legal framework. In that sense, I want to thank to my colleagues from NGIC family for active participation in this important conference. Our member, Volkan Bogzir, just briefly and eloquently outlined United Nations and international law framework for our today's topic. Now let me share uh, our experience uh, of Srebrenica as a learning case with you, first of all, with people of Azerbaijan, uh, since your experience with Hojala uh, makes us capable of mutually understanding each other properly. It took eight years after genocide in Europe, large genocide in Europe in the 20th century, until 2003, when the first funeral was organized in Srebrenica, where 600 out of 8,372 victims were found identified and buried. The youngest victim buried was newborn baby Mukic. There was no time to give a first name. And the oldest, Miss Saha Ismilic, was 90 years, 94 years old, when brutally killed. During July 1995, a brutal skilling operation with clear intent, organized and according to a precisely defined plan and pattern, in the most horrific way possible, were executed among those over 8,000 killed were more than 800 children. But all of these credible and proven facts would not be possible to come to light without passionate, professional, committed local and international people working together with the same goal, uh, to create verifiable historical narrative of what happened, where it happened, when it happened, and to whom it happened. This gives the lie to those who uh, would, circum would circumvent inconvenient truth by branding this as fabrication. It is preconditioned to obtain access to the truth and justice as a founding block of reconciliation, prevention of repeating the crimes, and finally, turning people's energy and focus to the prosperity and to the future. It is important to underline that developing and implementing effective steps to account for the missing are key element in credible strategy to ensure that war crimes are not getting repeated. In order to give you a clear picture of complexity, a knowledge, time frame, and hard work that had to be invested in fulfilling these goals, I will give you some hard facts given by ICMP and ICRC about getting the truth and justice about Srebrenica. The number of persons uh, missing as a result of the fall of the so-called Srebrenica United Nations Safe Area in July 1995 is 8,372. The number of missing persons identified by July 2023, this year, by traditional non-DNA means is 36, while the number of persons identified by using DNA is 6,982. The total number of missing persons accounted so far is 7,017, which is close to 90% of the victims whose names are known. Total number of Srebrenica-related sites where human remains have been recovered is 444. This includes 95 graves and more than 349 surface sites. Over 17,000 sets of human remains, bodies and bodies parts, related to Srebrenica 1995, have been examined in mortuaries by pathologists and anthropologists. For each person to be identified using DNA, DNA reference samples had to be collected from multiple family members. To date, July 2023, ICMP has collected 22,337 reference samples. The number of missing represented by these reference samples, which means missing persons for whom family members have provided the reference samples, is 
7,745. After all this work, still, still 627 out of 88,372 victims were not found or there are no identified relatives who are existing, found, or ready and capable of giving reference samples. Through assistance to justice program, this was all given to International Court, the Tribunal of Former Yugoslavia in Hague, and to domestic legal systems of countries in the Western Balkans. In Bosnia and Herzegovina to date, a total of 57 individuals have been put on trial on the state court for crimes committed in and around Srebrenica in July 1995. Out of this number, 43 have been accused of the crime of genocide. 12 have been charged with the crimes against humanity and two have been accused of crimes against civilians. So today, a total of 20 individuals have been tried at the ICTY in Hague for the crimes related to Srebrenica over the course of 13 cases. Of these, six individuals were convicted. Sloboda and Milosevic died before conclusion of this trial. The political and military authorities of so-called Republika Srpska at that time planned the crime of genocide and provided logistical support for the criminals. The authorities then covered up crimes by digging up and concealing mass graves, which I emphasize was confirmed by the decisions of the International Criminal Tribunal for Former Yugoslavia and Hague based on the foundings of victims and dead being buried the way I described. For the crime of genocide against Bosniaks, in and out around Srebrenica, the Hague Tribunal sentenced the first president of self-proclaimed at the time, Republic of Srpska, Radan Karadzic, to life imprisonment, as well as the oldest, other highest political and military officials of this parochiation. As of July 11, 2023, this year, 28 years after people were killed, there were 6,640 out of 8,372 Srebrenica victims' bodies buried in Potocari and Srebrenica and other locations. Crimes and or even mistakes committed before can no longer be corrected, but we have obligation to stop the new ones together. Uh, finding of what, where, when, and to whom enforced disappearances happened in the past bury the victims and punishing perpetrators today are preconditions for all of us having shared future or have no future at all. I wish you a good and successful conference and believe we are on the right path. Thank you.